Let's get started with Seesaw. To find Seesaw, the easiest way is to Google Seesaw, and it's probably going to be the first one that pulls up in your list of options. You're going to sign up for free, and the easiest way is to sign up with your Google account. You can click I'm a teacher and just sign up with Google. Now this page, let's go back, this page is also where your students are going to go to log in and if you allow family access your family members are going to go and if your school has purchased the Seesaw for Schools, this is where your Seesaw for Schools administrator will go to log in as well. We're going to sign in with Google. And the first time that you log into Seesaw, it's going to have you create a new class. Now you can choose to name your class. and pick what grade it is or if you already have your students in a Google Classroom you can choose to just import your students from a Google Classroom. So we can choose a Google Classroom and select the grade that that class is in and import the class and the students will be pulled from that classroom. Okay, if you were going to add any more students, you could choose the Add Students button and say, do you want students to sign in to Seesaw using their Google account or email address? Since our system is a Google system, we do want them to be using an email address. They're going to be using Chromebooks, so they will already um, be logged in to their Google account. So it just requires one more push of the Google button to log into Seesaw. So we're going to click Yes. And here are the instructions for the students. They're going to open the Seesaw Class app on an iOS or Android, or they're going to go to Seesaw on any computer on Chrome or Firefox browser, which is what we just did. Like I said, it's easiest just to search for Seesaw on Chrome. They're going to choose I'm a student. And then they're going to type in this code. Now you'll notice that this code expires seven days from now. They're only going to use this code one time. The code expires so quickly because Seesaw does not want us sharing this code far and wide. They want to protect the students that are in our class and we don't want just any random Joe coming into the Seesaw classroom. Our students will be posting photos and videos and audio of themselves and so we want to make sure that it's a safe environment for them to do that. So only the teacher and the students themselves and the families of those students will be allowed access to see those things. So that is why the code is pretty locked down. We only see it for seven days. They're only going to sign in with that code one time and then any time that they sign in with their Google account their Seesaw class will be the one that they're hopping into. So those are the instructions for adding your students to Seesaw after you've created your first class.